give a little tour of the vehicle here and the uh, portable setup. It's a 2013 Suburban here. They're very reliable vehicles. My sister has one with 350,000 on it. This is the uh, Yesu FT7900. The head fits perfectly in the sunglass case that I don't use because I always wear glasses. And uh, the uh, microphone here has a metal block in it that allows me to use one of these little cell phone things and it holds it right there. And I got my UHF HT1250 there. Uh, the speaker and the radio body for the 7900 is in here. This is a little panel that comes off. And there's the radio body. And I put some uh, rubber uh, foam back there to protect the, the stock wiring harness. And the speaker's tucked in there. That's a Yesu MLS 100. It's a very good communication speaker. It's very loud. It's an oval speaker. And even in tucked in there, it's very loud. I don't know if I could uh, see if I get anybody in here. Let's see. Put on scan. Uh, yeah, it's a very tinny. It's a very tinny repeater. I don't like the way that one sounds. Let's see. Uh, in my years, I've had, uh, I've had all That's of not even halfway. Anyway. I think there was another Hamelin that was. Um, anyway, this is a great radio. The uh, coax goes under the dash here, under the rocker panels. Goes uh, in the back. And it's paired up to a diamond. I believe this is a K412. It's adjustable three ways. Works perfectly for a hatchback. It allows me to park in my garage. This is a diamond NR73. It fits right here in the garage. It doesn't uh, cause any damage or anything when I have it this high. Anyway, this is one of the most uh, important tools here when I film YouTube videos. It's a little tripod clamp. It allows you to hold it, put the cell phone in here, I'm going to show you the box here in a minute. The portable setup for the Zaiju uh, G90. You got a HT1250. This is a VHF model with a mobile charger. I got my little flashlight over there. My little tool bags. And uh, let me put this on the, the mount here now. Let's see if I can get this on. Let me clamp it right here to the door. Let's see how this works. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that works. Okay. This is a Craftsman toolbox. I put these little stickers on here. I took the sticker off the front. And this is a set. It's got a waterproof seal here. This is a tray, the nice little tray. This is a little mount I made that uh, KI2B got me some aluminum angle iron. I put a magnet on it. it sucks to the bottom of the radio. The, uh, this is the Moonraker SPX100. This is a little portable antenna. I use this one with very good results on a mag mount and portable. I had a couple other videos with the portable setup. I'll make a couple of those in the future. But each one of these taps here you could use uh, for different the different bands. You just plug the, the wire into it. It's a great antenna. It's very, very underrated. It's very hard to find. It ships out of the UK. It's made by a company called Moonraker. Then I got my microphone and the, my earphones here. And inside the box, I got a Harbor Freight. This is a trickle charger. It's uh, 15 volts, 500 milliamps. So when I'm done using the batteries here, you know, I trickle charge them. You can see that these two batteries are very old, actually. They're from 2011, and they still hold the charge. They're over 13 volts right now, fully charged. Uh, this is a little rope thing I use for the wire antennas. It stores it nice. The radio is actually in here. This is an iPhone or an iPad case, rather. It's got a little place to tuck your little pad and your pen, and the radio fits really nice in here. If you want to know what it is, I could send you an eBay link. Or, uh, actually, I think I got it on Amazon. Then this here is a 20-foot, uh, it, maybe it's 10, <coughs> excuse me, the pollen's falling. It's probably a 10-foot extension. I could plug it into this 12-volt outlet here if I want to operate in a park. And in here is all my various power cables and different little BNC connectors and such for operating uh, the radio. And in here is my Yurachi. This is called the Yurachi antenna. It's in a little bag. And fed HF matchbox. The Yurachi uh, Honolulu Amateur Radio Club makes this. It's about 30 feet of wire. I put a little counterpoise wire in there. 
This is a very good antenna for portable operation. Very easy to throw up with that rope. And I got my two batteries. It's the mag mount here that I use with the Moonraker on the vehicle. And then, uh, let's see, I got coax, short piece of coax, 50 footer for the Irachi. I think they recommend that you use 50 feet. And then these two wires here, they're counterpoise wires when I use the Moonraker on a tripod. On the tripod, I use this little, this is what goes inside the tripod. The coax comes in here. I mount it into the tripod with the tripod. This is the piece of PVC. This goes inside of here. And then I got this little cap. Where'd it go? I got this little cap here that I put on top. The Moonraker threads into here. The coax from the radio comes here. And then out the bottom of this, I feed it through the bottom. This is one of the counterpoise wires. This one's cut for 20 meters. This one's cut for 40 which I primarily operate, and uh, I'm sure you could use them for the various other bands if you want to leave them out, but I would thread this through the bottom of the tripod into the PVC pipe. This piece of pipe here, this piece of pipe would actually mount onto here, and I thread the wire through the bottom of the tripod, and then that's how I use my antenna portable in addition to the wire, and uh, I, get, I get very good results with both. And that's pretty much, if anybody has any comments or questions about any of the equipment here and if they want to know exactly what it is they could uh, give me a shout or a comment on the message on the YouTube video.